Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with Jump Rope Fit and this is your workout of the day. Now, before we jump into this workout, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. This will let the YouTube gods know that you like this content and I can continue to provide more of it for you. Also, after this workout, head over to jumpropefit.com and I will send you daily workouts just like this one. All right guys, before we get into this workout, how this is going to work is I'm gonna first go through all the movements in the workout just to make sure you're maintaining proper form and technique on all the movements. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and queue up a full follow along workout video of this workout so you can get started right away. But for those of you who want to skip all ahead and just start that workout, I've queued that up down in the description of this video so you can scroll down there click on that link and it's going to skip you right ahead to the full follow along workout but for those of you who are still with me right now and want to know proper form and technique on all of these movements this workout today is going to be four rounds and it's going to start off with that jump rope we're going to be doing one minute of jump rope now maintaining proper form and technique here we are jumping on the balls of our feet but we're really just bounding you don't need to lift your legs up or kick your legs back. We don't have to expend a lot of energy on this jump rope. This should actually be the relaxing part of the workout. Now we're bounding up and down on the balls of our feet, nice and relaxed, only jumping an inch or two off the ground, just enough to go ahead and clear this rope. Once you get that first swing going here, we're keeping our elbows in close to our sides. We are rotating that rope just with our wrists, just a little flick of the wrist. That's all it takes to go ahead and rotate that rope. My hands are slightly in front of my hips, so I should be able to see my hands in my peripheral vision. If I don't, I need to bring them forward. My chest is up, my shoulders are down and relaxed. You can do one minute of jump rope. Now, if you want to intensify the workout, you can do run in place or a little bit of a boxer step or switch it off freestyle, or you can even do double unders, which is two rotations of the jump rope for every jump. Now, whichever movement you choose, you're just gonna end up doing one minute of jump rope. After that, we're gonna set our jump ropes down. We're gonna go into 30 seconds of alternating dumbbell bent over rows. So you're gonna need two dumbbells for this. And I'm gonna set these down on the ground real quick here. And we're gonna be bending at the waist. We're gonna have a slight bend in our knees. So first off, our feet should be about hip width apart here, guys. Bend slightly in those knees, send those hips back, and start to bend at the waist, keeping your back flat. We don't wanna be rounded over. We're gonna have two dumbbells. Palms are facing each other. From here, we are gonna alternate. We're gonna row back towards our hip. So keeping that elbow close to our ribs. We don't want our elbow flaring out like this. Keep it close to your rib and you're rowing back towards your hips. And almost think of it as you're trying to roll that elbow around your back. That's really gonna engage that lat. Make sure you're keeping it close and it's not flaring out. Then we're gonna slowly let that one down and then we're gonna roll up the other side, nice and slow and controlled, focusing on that negative. All right guys, two dumbbells, slight bend in those knees, feet are about hip width apart, send those hips back, nice flat back, head and neck is a neutral spine. I'm gonna start on my left arm over here, roll it back towards my hip, slow and controlled, come back down, roll this one back, slow and controlled all the way down. And we do 30 seconds of these alternating dumbbell bent over rows. After you've completed that, set your dumbbells down. Now we're gonna move on to grabbing that jump rope again. We're gonna do one more minute of jump rope. Then we're gonna go into 30 seconds of dumbbell front squats. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same dumbbells I was using before. Now on the dumbbell front squats, you wanna have your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart on these, and your toes are pointed out slightly. Now when you go into this squat, you're gonna have your dumbbells in this front rack position, so right here. When you go into that squat, you're gonna hinge at the hips and you're gonna bend at the knees. Now, you wanna make sure your knees are tracking out over those toes. We don't want them caving inwards. Now, as you're coming down into this squat, dumbbells are gonna be in this front rack position, so it's gonna to wanna to pull you forward with that weight. So I want you to put all your weight back in your heels, sit back in that squat, so your butt goes down below knee level. Now, from here, you're gonna press through the floor, keeping that chest up, knees are gonna come back, hips are gonna open up, full extension at the top all the way down, all the way up. So, two dumbbells here. Bring them up into that front rack position. Feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Toes are pointed out slightly. Slightly, or start to bend in those knees. Hinging at the hips. Butt is going back. Weight is in my heels. All the way down, butt below knee level. Press through the floor. Stand fully upright. Knees coming back, hips opening up. All the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. And we're gonna end up doing 30 seconds of these dumbbell 
front squats. After you've completed that, set your dumbbells down, pick up that jump rope, another one minute of jump rope. Then we're gonna end up moving into 30 seconds of alternating dumbbell shoulder press. So once again, I'm gonna use the same dumbbells I was using. You could probably use the same dumbbells that you're using for all the movements in this workout. So on these dumbbell shoulder press, what we wanna do, nice stance here, so feet should be about hip width apart here. Slight bend in those knees. You're gonna bring the dumbbells up in the front rack position. Palms are almost facing each other, slightly turned out a little bit here. Keeping that chest up, shoulders back. Now we're alternating, so I'm gonna start on my right arm. Press all the way up, full extension at the top here, opening up that arm, keeping that bicep close to the ear. Come all the way down, slow and control. Press up on this side, all the way down, and we're gonna alternate these dumbbell shoulder presses, keeping that chest up, engage that core, slight bend in those knees. We do 30 seconds of these alternating dumbbell shoulder press. Set those down, then that, then we're gonna end up resting for one minute. After the one minute of rest, that completes one round of this workout. But like I said, guys, we're gonna end up completing a total of four rounds today. All right, guys, that is the workout of the day. Now I'm gonna go ahead and queue up that full follow along workout of this workout so you can get started right away. As always, be sure you subscribe to this channel, guys. Do me that favor and always check out jumpropefit.com and I will send you daily workouts just like this one every single day. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.